So we might have a special appearance tonight with Mr. and Mrs. Mom and Dad Survival. Right now I'm typing on a keyboard. Do you guys know what these loops are in the crotch area on the M65 field pants? Go ahead and leave a comment below because I have no idea, but they're for something. This is uh, Mr. Dad Survival right here. We're gonna set them aside inside the four slavu. Got our ground tarp. But what we do have is the USGI extreme cold weather sleeping bag. And I've got the Chrysalis bivy. So this will be my second time using this thing. So it's gonna be interesting how it works tonight. <laughs> But on top of the plastic sheet, we're gonna have a wool blanket that's gonna go underneath the Chrysalis bivy. And what's cool about this wool blanket is that our wonderful wife, Angel, I had her a few years ago sew, sew it up for me to where I could use it as a sleeping bag if I need to be. Let's see here. Yeah, so you just, you can stuff this here full of leaves and uh, use it as a bed, a bedding, or you can get in it and sleep in it as a sleeping bag. But yeah, she just sewed up the sides for me. So yeah, that's just gonna, we're gonna use this as a ground cloth though, so. Of course, I'm using the Milserp Thermo Rest or gosh can't think straight uh, sleeping pad last but not least the extreme cold weather sleeping bag so here it is guys this is the extreme cold weather sleeping bag and uh, it's been my first time using it it's supposed to be rated to uh, 20 below zero Fahrenheit. So uh, we're gonna find out real quick tonight. <laughs> All right, the fire's looking pretty good. We got my Arcelis Bivy looking outstanding. It's awesome. Tube there to breathe out of. And I'm actually thirsty, so. Here's some of our dinner night, got some teas, bread, extra batteries. But inside here I have another wool blanket. And let's see how well it's working. I got some bottled water in here. And look at that. Not even frozen. So I'll show you guys these gloves here, these USGI mittens. With the uh Mm, nice fur. What's cool about these, if you're trying to do some work and you need to use your hands, I was make sure it wasn't going to the fire. But if you need to use your hands, just take them off and they have a lanyard where you can just hang them from your neck and then you can do your little whatever you're going to do. Right now I'm typing on a keyboard. so. Pretty cool, these gloves are pretty neat. When I say this fire is the best winter fire, it is truly the best winter fire because you can see how the heat radiates all the way out to here. It's melted that far out, that's about five feet. It might not look on camera, but it's probably, it's probably nearly five feet. So far, this experience has been pretty good. And uh, it's a little early yet to get dinner going, so I'm gonna have some coffee. And right there's what we're having. Whoops, get out of this thing. Nescaf three and one, the best. But before I go and make coffee, let me go ahead and give you guys another cold weather survival tip. And I believe this is number four, wind chill. So tonight it's negative one for a low. And I think that's kind of the high too, which is really weird because usually like the highs like just say 30, but then the low will be like 20. But tonight it's like one degree difference. 
in the high and low, which is very, to me, very weird. So with that being said, the wind chill. Now what is wind chill? Wind chill is just what it feels like. So they're calling for negative 20 below zero Fahrenheit wind chill. The temp is really only negative one Fahrenheit, but with the wind, that's what it feels like. Now, I never can understand that. Well, like, what does that, why does that matter? Why does it matter what the wind chill is? If it's not changing the temp, what's it matter? Well, lo and behold, I figured out why. Because when the wind's blowing, you're more prone to getting frostbite much faster than you would be with no wind or just little wind. So that's where wind chill comes in. You're prone to get frostbite a lot quicker. So say, for instance, if it was uh, zero degrees with no wind chill versus zero degrees with 30 below zero wind chill, then you're gonna get frostbite a lot faster than you would if it was only negative zero with no wind chill. So because of the wind, it's pressing up against your skin. So that's how it works. So I, I never can understand that, but now I do. So it all makes sense. So there you go, survival, cold weather survival tip number four. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is hot. Whew. We might have a special appearance tonight with Mr. and Mrs. Mom and Dad Survival. So uh, it might be down, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> that fire is hot. And you can clearly tell, look at the whole ring around that. Mr. Dad Survival showed up. He might be a little camera shy, but he just pulled up. There's his vehicle over there. All right, here he comes. He's got his uh, M1951 fishtail parka on. <laughs> oh, here he comes. This is this is uh, Mr. Dad Survival right here with his M1951 fishtail parka on. You got any words of wisdom there? Keep it warm. <laughs> I knew I needed a big. I bought these last winter, I think. I'm glad I'm able to start using my stuff. I started to collect stuff and I use it. I gotta catch my. I'm like, water what, I'm like, what's that? Your water freeze at all? No, I got four bottles in my wool blanket and my duffel bag. Man, they're, I, they're staying warm. They're freezing all, I can't believe it. Mr. Dad Survival is gone. It's just you and me, guys. So let's get some dinner going. It just shot its way all the way back here. And, uh, but it's still, uh, it's still a very warm fire. Very warm fire. Ah, Hormel chili. Chunky beef chili with beans. Go ahead and cook this straight on the fire. Before we put this on the fire and cook it, you got to open this lid a little bit so the gases can expand. Whoa, it's hot. Oh boy. Uh, yep, yep. Oh, I brought a plate because why not? Still cold. Shoot, that's my fault. Heavenly Father. I bless you and I thank you for this food and thank you for this time. In Yeshua's name, amen. Cheers, guys. It was cold. I have nothing else cooking him. But we're going to eat it. The other can's in, so. But, got to have bread with it. I got the second can out and it is much hotter. I just didn't let the first one go long enough. So uh, some people want to do this because it's not safe to cook in aluminum, which I guess it isn't. But I've, I've heard if it's, it's if you do it all the time, it's not good. But just once in a great while, I think would probably be okay. But don't quote me on that because I am 
do not know for sure. I'm gonna give you guys another survival, or I always say survival. I mean, I'm gonna give you guys another cold weather survival tip. When you go out in cold weather, unless you're a pro, make sure you bring enough supplies with you. Make sure you bring enough clothing, extra clothing. Make sure you bring enough food because you burn a lot of calories in the winter time. Make sure you bring extra socks because your feet sweat and you need dry socks. And make sure you bring modern day fire starter. I always have those raviolis with me. And yeah, I could come out here, make a bow drill <laughs> to start a fire, which is cool. But in these kind of conditions, when it's negative one, you don't want to mess around and uh, you want to be prepared. And so if I was in a forest with birch, I necessarily wouldn't need any fire starter because birch, it's, it will take a spark in a heartbeat. But, um, but you should still always bring something with you that's modern. Uh, and I, pref I would just recommend those raviolis that I make. Um, Mr. Ray's raviolis, I mean to say. So there you go, survival tip number five, or cold weather survival tip number five. Make sure you bring plenty of supplies with you for cold weather camping. It's about time for me to lay down and relax inside this sleep bag. We're actually testing out this sleeping bag. It's rated to 20 below zero. It's the US military extreme cold weather sleeping bag. But first, I gotta take this big old jacket off. And we're not gonna sleep with this jacket tonight because I wouldn't be able to fit in the sleeping bag. We're not gonna sleep with these pants on either. Uh, woo wee. Okay. Oh man, that sock is going right into this booty. No playing around. Never got a sense that. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah. All right, I'll probably see you guys in the morning, if not middle of the night. Whew. I hope I can make it all night. Here's the degrees. There's the time. 736. <sighs> So I'm still going. <laughs> you guys see me here on the camera? I don't know. Probably not. See my nose, I guess. It is cold. My feet are still cold. I've been in this bag for probably an hour now. But it's been an hour and my the bag still keep me warm. So, so far so good. <laughs> I'm still here. Good early morning. It's not that morning yet, but it's early morning. I'm show you guys what time it is. It is 1.56. Show you here on the camera. Right there. It is 1.56. So the good news is I'm still alive. <laughs> I just woke up. I fell asleep for about three hours. And uh, my nose, woke up my nose getting, my nose is pretty cold. 
Let me see it there, but let's make sure it's okay. Um, so I'm still out here and just woke up. My nose is cold, so I'm trying to warm it up with my hand. And I put my, uh, let's see, I get my mask here. Put my balclava back on here. I've been doing this off and on with it. And it uh, seems to be helping pretty good. So I just bring you guys back and just give the update. And uh, the sleep bag is doing pretty good. Uh, although the sleep bag is, I'm starting to feel kind of cold in it. And uh, yeah. Hopefully next time I see you guys will be time to get up. And uh, yeah. Alright, let's see you guys here in a few hours. Okay, comrades, it is 4.06 in the morning. Uh, we survived all night. I'm going to tell you what. Get my light on here, you can see me. There's just no room in this bag. There we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and get out of bed. <laughs> I'm trying to brave this. This is going to be tough right now. We got snow in the middle of the night. I think it's still snowing right now. And uh, I have my clothes are on the sled. However, I wasn't thinking very clearly. And there's snow all over my clothes. <laughs> so. Okay. I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to get out of this bag. And I get dressed and uh, get stuff packed up. And we're going to head back to my car. We'll get my car. And uh, we'll go over everything. Um, about this trip. So. Alright. Gonna do it. I'm going to try and get out of this bag. Alright. It's snowing, guys. Oh, God. There's snow last night. Here's my sled. Oh, man. Everything's freaking snow covered. Oh. 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 Okay. One thing I was smart about jackets in here <laughs> okay I'll get back to you guys I gotta get dressed it's too cold to film and do this at the same time okay guys so everything's packed up sorry I can't show you guys all that me packing everything up because it's just really freaking cold right now and uh, my feet are numb so I need to get back to my car fast Here's the fire, <laughs> still going. It's amazing, but uh, it'll be fine.
Okay, we made it back to the car. And there's the temp. It says it's negative one outside and it's 4.43 in the morning right now. Oh, let your light on here. Here we go. Woo wee. Or turn the status to here. Okay. I'm gonna set you guys right up here. We're gonna talk for just a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> So I successfully did an extreme cold weather overnight and uh, I survived. I'm up a little early, it's 4.44 in the morning, but I just couldn't sleep anymore. I just laid there and laid there for two hours almost, just could not sleep. So I said, you know what? I think four o'clock I'm getting up and so I did. And I will tell you what, the one thing I don't like about camping is packing everything up. That's oh, uh, that's the only thing I don't like about camping, and pretty much everything else I like. I think, it's from what I can tell or what I can remember, because my mind isn't working too well right now. <laughs> and I say that because all I had to do was throw everything in my sled, put my strap on, and go. <laughs> that was wonderful. What did we learn? We learned that it was negative one out and that it was a very good idea that I came out here to my parents' property because anything bad could have happened out at uh, Secret Pine Forest. My car might not start in the morning. It started just fine, so that was good, but I didn't know. So I'm glad I came here. It was a good decision to make. Uh, second, my feet took over two hours to get warm in that uh, USGI Extreme Cold Weather Sleeping uh, bag. And I had uh, down booties on. I changed my socks and put down booties on and it took over two hours from the final warm up and they did. However, when I talked to you guys at two in the morning, after that I started kind of getting just a little bit cool in my bag. I wasn't, I wasn't freezing, but I was getting cool. And I could feel it, my feet were kind of starting to cool off and uh, my side and my butt area from the ground so I started to get cool but if you figure I was in that bag for 10 hours from 6 to what about 4 in the, well, four in the morning so it was 10 hours I think yeah so I mean I was in that bag for 10 hours it kept me warm I could stay in the bag for another two more hours and been fine I think so that that bag did pretty good um, you know it is rated for 20 below zero but everyone sleeps different the only thing I don't like about that bag is that I can't sleep in it with pretty much anything on but my onesie. That's all I had was my onesie on inside that bag. And uh, you know, when you guys see me camp before, I could sleep with my clothes on, my jacket, and my pants, but I wasn't able to do that in this bag. And uh, it might just be because my stuff's a lot thicker. I know I wouldn't be able to sleep with this on, but it was a pain in the butt to sleep my bibs on. And uh, I had to take them off, and I had to take off my uh, Coyote Brown pullover. So that's the only thing I like about that bag, but I actually didn't even need to wear any extra clothing, so that it kept me warm. So that's that's fine. Another downside to it is that bag is I believe a down and polyester fill. And the thing with down when it gets wet, it doesn't uh, heat properly. It loses its um, heating capabilities. So that's the only thing down. That's the downside um, down down so I was down <laughs> gosh um, I can't really think of anything else other than that I mean it was a good experience and I was glad to share it with you guys hope you guys enjoyed it so but uh yeah if I, if I think of anything else to bring it back but I can't not the top of my head the fire was still going obviously the fire worked out well um, but it was definitely a good experience. So if you guys, if you guys have never done any extreme cold weather camping, this would be the time to do it because it's going to be starting to warm up again, and spring's just right around the corner. And we have this big cold front right now. So if you're in the United States, I'm not saying do it. Maybe go in your backyard and try it and see what you, you know, see if you like it or not. Maybe, but um, always do every, do everything safely. Dress warm. Bring extra gear. 
bring more than you need <laughs> you know it I, that's what I would do and that's what I did I brought I brought a lot of stuff but I could do it because I pulled on sled so what was also what was difficult about this trip was that I had the film <laughs> <laughs> that was very difficult. I had to take my camera, take it out of the uh, bag that I was keeping it in. I have this other down booty and I keep it in my pocket. Take it off and on, back and forth, off and on. Take the gloves off, put the gloves back on. Because batteries drain a lot faster in cold weather and it's extremely cold where your, your hands start to freeze in like just minutes. So, And uh, it, was, it was just a lot of work. That's one thing I learned about this. So... These people in Canada and Russia and, you know, those really cold climates that film, man, and that film a lot. I mean, when it's cold, like, I've experienced, like, this is probably normal to them, negative one. Like, they're doing this stuff, like, negative 20 Celsius, 30 Celsius, or whatever. Like, <laughs> that's some work. Another thing was working in this um, was not easy. When I was sawing, I was out of breath fast. And uh, let me see it there, but I think it's just the the coldness, you know. I don't know why I like doing that, but <laughs> I think it's just the coldness of uh, just the atmosphere, the cold weather, the just zaps you. And uh, that I noticed that was a big one uh, camping in this. That was definitely something to remember. So that's what's cool about this is that. I was thinking, I was using my brain because that's where survival starts is in your brain. <laughs> and come here, see if you can even do it, you know? I didn't know if I could do it. I mean, yeah, I'm Scotty Survival, but you know, I'm human. So, <laughs> but I did it. So, and uh, now I know if I go out to Secret Pine Forest, probably next year, um, or maybe somewhere else up north, I'll be a little more prepared and I'll have an idea of what to expect so one thing also is I dressed overly warm my down jacket here I didn't wear that majority of the time I was out here because I was sweating in it but that's good though that's good because I could take it off remember the layering system and I just wore this here or this one with my uh, pullover so with that said I'm gonna stop talking because this is at six minutes and 18 seconds already and uh <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next adventure, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I had a lot of fun. It was a good experience, so if you would, please like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get all my videos. All right, guys, I will see you in the next adventure. God bless you, and take care. Make sure you leave comments below, too, all right? <laughs> see you guys, and good morning to you.